welcome back. Today we're taking a look at this VidPro Professional Lavalier Condenser Microphone System. Now, I'm using a VidPro boom mic on my camera now. If I position myself here. It's the XM8 microphone, which runs off a AAA battery and it has a hot shoe mount with a little wire took to the camera. Unfortunately, depending on which way I turn my head here, which you could probably pick up in the recording, I sound loud or quieter depending on how close I get to the mic. Sometimes I'm standing behind it, sometimes I'm off to the side over here. And frankly, I want to start doing some uh, blogging on another channel, uh, my actual personal channel. And I figured, what better way to do that than one of these microphones? So I went ahead and picked up one of these. It wasn't a terrible a lot of money. I'll put a link in the description from where I got it from, which was uh, Amazon. And we'll give a look at it. Now I haven't actually tested this out, tried it out or anything. It has been sitting in the box here waiting to do this review. I have opened it up and take a look at it, but that's just about it. Uh, I am getting a mount for my tablet that I could put onto a tripod and when I do that I'll have a second steady cam that I'll be able to show you what the main camera I'm using is which is the Panasonic HCV770. Uh, it is a full HD camera, it has some great features and I'll get into that more later. In fact I actually bought that camera as a part of a package which came with the camera, a tripod, the mic, a light, a couple lenses, the memory card, a, a lens cleaning kit, you know, a variety of different things, which was great, but adding this will definitely give me some more options as far as what I can do with it. Now, 20 foot cord is a pretty nice long cord. I didn't go with a wireless system because frankly, they're a little bit out of my budget right now for stuff like this. There's other things I would rather spend that money on first. Um, eventually I will get one of those so I don't have to trip over a cord. But at any rate, I'm going to show you what's in this system and get some audio um, recordings from it. Because pretty much I'm going to be using this going forward if I'm happy with the results of it. Of course, here's your little silica don't eat pack just to keep the uh, moisture out. And of course, there's instructions, which I've already read because there are things you do find in the instructions that are important. like don't turn the switch on when you have it plugged into a smartphone and I don't want to ruin my smartphone so that's something I'm glad I read even though on the actual unit they make that pretty clear which I'll show you here now it comes with the quarter inch to eighth inch adapter which is nice it has the little windscreen up here this is the actual mic it comes with the LR44 I believe battery and a clip and then the end of it even though this isn't a stereo microphone, it curiously enough has the stereo pins on it. Um, this is actually what the headset would have that has speakers and a microphone input on it, which is interesting because the quarter inch just has a single, you know, two conductor uh, pins on it there. And, uh, you know, it's just a standard, you know, small lavalier microphone here. The piece, the main control unit here where you put the battery in is made of metal, which is nice. This little compartment here and screws and you just throw the battery in right here in the back side of it, which I'll do right now. On this particular one, the positive side faces down, which is the flat side of the battery. And then it just screws in. And then as you can see, the connection between the actual microphone and the little battery pack control unit here is actually quite long. So you can actually clip this to your belt or belt loop or pants or something like that off to your side or behind your back and then just run this through your shirt and just clip the mic on or however you want to do it. And then you got this nice long 20 foot cord. They did give you the little Velcro strap on here which is pretty handy. And on the unit itself, this is the XM-L. You can see that there's the switch, which measures, has a reading of off slash smartphone on the bottom and cameras up to the top here. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I should actually put the rest of this together. Uh, let me put the windscreen on, which just slips over the top here. Somehow. Okay, and there's a little ridge on there, which kind of holds that in place. And then the clip which is actually a really nice strong clip. It's a metal clip, which I like with a little plastic 
piece on here and that just clips into this channel on the mic here and this is you know a fairly basic design there's nothing really spectacular about it but I do want to hear how this is going to sound so I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording I'm going to plug this in shut off my boom mic here and we're going to go ahead and give this a shot and now I'm hooked in and I'm actually standing quite a bit away from the camera but of course that doesn't matter because the microphone's pinned right on me and I can go pretty much anywhere here in the room and still be picked up on the camera which is what I was hoping for unfortunately I don't know what this sounds like until I go to play it back and again mine the snow plows yeah, it's a pretty bit snowy day up here in New York I think we're getting more snow than they anticipated but that's okay so with that I'm gonna to have to cut this recording because I want to hear what this sounds like myself and if you like the way this sounds better than the other microphone leave it in the comments below I'm not actually gonna do any post editing audio processing on this simply because well my software I'm using really doesn't do that that well so what you hear is what you'll or what I say is what you'll hear or, uh, I don't know how you want to say that but you get the idea and thanks for watching I went ahead and re looked at the footage just to see how it would sound and I can actually tell you if you can't figure it out for yourself this microphone is much louder and my early early videos I actually used the camera microphone that was built in, which is actually a 5.1 channel zoom mic. But I found that it wasn't that loud, especially you know when I was trying to move around the, the area I was working on. So I used the VidPro VM, uh, what's this, the XME, I should say, boom mic here. And it worked great. I liked the way it sounded, but like I said earlier in this video, when I moved around the camera, it kind of made the sound come in and out and I didn't like that whereas now the mic's right here it makes it a lot easier but now that I have this off the camera and I'm using a different microphone I can do a little mini review of this as well and we can see here I do like this because it has the LED indicator light to let you know it's on and trust me even though you have that there's been plenty of times I've started yapping my mouth and this was off and I had to reshoot the video yeah um, but underneath the windscreen you just have a basic you know shotgun style mic now I've seen nicer ones which are much longer and probably more true boom mic but this worked pretty well and uh, like I said it was louder than what was on the camera obviously not as loud as the mic I'm wearing now but it does have a hot shoe mount so this gives you some options uh, when I get my tablet mount I'm actually going to use this and uh, I'll either use this in this camera and plug the lavalier mic into the tablet just to have a second shot um, or something like that but it does have a lot of extra usages plus I'm not always going to just be recording myself so that's still going to be a part of my kit thanks for watching